Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of August. It is a general reading. That means it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So let's begin with the uh, overall energy. You have the card of heal. So this is saying that the energy is 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 right for uh, or to bring healing to your relationship. It is the ideal time to bring in healing, to realize your hopes and your dreams. This may be time uh, for forgiveness also. So you may need to ask yourself, are you ready to forgive someone for something? Or are you ready to forgive yourself? Understand that no human can ever be perfect. By accepting that statement, you are in a position to forgive yourself and those with whom you're involved with. Forgive freely and without reservations as blame and resentment are very heavy weights to bear and it is in the the forgiving that you're going to feel that weight lift from your shoulders because we see it is very heavy here there is blame there is resentment here for someone that you walked away from for someone that you you may have felt the relationship was toxic or that the person wasn't good for you. Maybe they were controlling. Maybe they deceived you in some way. This card shows contempt as the foot. Uh, it's the foot that rests upon the head or, or it's like a rock in the shape of a head. It's hard to see on the camera, but um, it speaks to bitterness. resentment so you walked away from this person but you didn't want to like you were tempted to stay you were tempted you love this person you walked away but this person they're walking away and they're crying they're hurting and they're carrying that hurt with them The relationship didn't feel equal. It didn't feel like the other person was putting the effort in. You may have felt alone in that relationship, but you loved them. Um, there was a very strong connection between you and this person. You moved away. You left the person. Um, trying as you're walking away here you're trying this is you um there's like a wall of emotion that you're walking into here um trying to keep your emotions under control as you did this walked away from the devil turned your back on him this could have been, you see the devil, he was offering this coin here, but you turned your back on him. You turned your back on him because uh, you thought the relationship or the person was not good for you in, in some way, you know. And I mean, for some, it could very well be or have been a third party um, here. Yeah, because we have the lovers here. So definitely for someone, this could have been a third party that you walked away from. You may have felt, for some, with the devil, you may have felt like it was a trap. You see, with the, um, this, this king, there's uh, a net in the water behind. So you could have felt like it was a trap.
you may have felt that there was uh, no way out. You had a lot of negative thoughts or you're having a lot of negative thoughts, dark thoughts. Maybe this person crossed a boundary with you. You're in the Four of Swords energy. And like I said, you walked right into a wall of emotion. You have that sword that you took with you here. One is suspended over your heart. And the other two over your mind. It's cold. The person you left is going to reach out to you unexpectedly and they are going to want to talk about a healing. They're going to want to talk. Yeah, see, here's the message. Here it comes. There's a message that's coming having to do with a another chance, a reconciliation with regards to forgiveness, healing, talking about the issues, getting over the obstacle. Here's the news again. This person can't forget you. Yep, here's that king again. They cannot forget. They're deep in their emotions. Someone from your past is coming. Here they are, King of Pentacles. They want to talk. You felt it wasn't, uh, it wasn't balanced. See, it's showing above again, above and below, that this person would do anything just to get what they wanted, you know? But uh, what we see is that this person, they don't want to let you go here. There is, um, there's news here and there is communication, although you're going to kind of keep them at a distance. Uh, yes, because we have the news here from the earth and we have um, <laughs> the girl with the ace of swords just a minute here explain yourself okay talk I'm listening right and so they want to talk about this new beginning of the empress um, now the empress would speak to something long term um, six of swords There's a mystery here um, that is about to be solved. Something, what you didn't know or what you thought was a mystery is about to be revealed to you with this card. It speaks to, uh, to mysteries. For someone, you may be pregnant. And you may have known about that when you walked away is what I'm hearing. Because although I'm seeing it here in your future, I'm feeling like you knew it when you walked away. Maybe that's what this was about too, possibly for someone. The earth is coming forward. That's this king. So it doesn't have to be their sun sign. Okay. But they're coming forward with a discussion. Um, they still want you in their life. They don't want to let you go. Um, there's going to be a new opportunity. You have to decide 
if you're going to forgive this person or not. Now, you're in an energy that's very strong and uh, it's like the time is right for this forgiveness to happen, for this healing to take place. And you're in the hangman mode and you're wondering what the cost would be to you to, uh, to forgive this person, to uh, accept that which they are offering you. So here is the Wheel of Fortune and it is not moving. Um, but it invites you to step up and take a spin. It brings you information, okay? So it brought that information in here with this person. There's the information. Here's the person coming in unexpectedly, bringing in this new information to you that you need to decide whether you want to take this, uh, this offer of healing or not. What would be the cost to you with the hanged man here? The Ace of Wands, a new opportunity. Um, but, you know, as in all aces, they are simply windows. They are fleeting. So, um, that is what I have for you. You're going to have to decide. The energy is uh, ripe to have this healing. This is about forgiveness. This is new hope, and this also brings a new offer, just like the wheel does. So you must decide. You have free will in this. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing also Thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.